the master, the overlordian, playing MCs like an old accordion. I get the inspiration from a necessary station. What's up, everybody? This is All Things Beer 510. And today, we bringing you a review from Free Will Brewing Company out of Percassi, PA, Pennsylvania. This is Ralph, Ralphie Us. Ralphie Us. Um, this is a 15 point one percent russian imperial stout brewed in bourbon barrels guys i've never heard of the brewery never heard of the beer big shout out to my homie matt from uh something wicked brewing company head brewmaster out there that's my brother we trade beers every now and then um he sent this to me uh i don't know anything about it all i know is a it's a big beer um, so I'm going into this blind. I didn't really do any research about this. It's dope being from California, being able to try stuff from out there that you've never even heard about. I mean, if you're in PA, you've heard of Trogues and um, Tired Hands and a whole bunch of other things from that area. But I've never heard of this. So if guys, if you have heard of this or have a taste of this or are familiar, please tell me what you think. I'm about to get this uh, open, see what it smells like, see what it tastes like, tell you what I think. Uh, pulled this one. I've had this for about um, a few months now. It's 2016. Uh, really don't know what to expect from this at all, actually. Um, didn't even read reviews. I just said, let me try it for tonight. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get a pour and <laughs> see what this do. 15.1. Wow. So, yeah, when I, when I think about 15.1, I actually think about Bourbon County. Um, a lot of their beers are... Uh, 15.1 we're gonna get a nice uh, pour of that right there in my heretic glass um guys I can smell this from like right here I'm cool and I can smell this uh, got the bucket hat on uh, 1980 style yeah so yeah pitch black pitch pitch black um, free will brewing okay let's see what it smells like <laughs> oh man. <laughs> wow. Um I'm glad this is only in 12 ounces. That smells strong as shit. Um fresh off the bat, so much bourbon, so much whiskey on the nose. Um you get a lot of chocolate, a lot of fudge, a lot of vanilla, also some caramel notes, but I mean, this beer smells boozy as hell. Just the, the bourbon notes um, has a oak smell also to it. Um, I mean, it's, it, it smells like a huge, huge beer. Almost similar to Bourbon County, actually. Um, a lot of fudgy, a lot of chocolate, a lot of vanilla, caramel notes, oak, bourbon, whiskey. Um, let's see what this smells like. I've had this out for a little bit, um, so it's at room temperature, so hopefully all the flavors come through. Um, it actually says dark fruit, caramel, and vanilla notes. From the bur from the barrel itself, uh, full bodied and chewy, uh, with velvety complex layers of malt and roast. So, uh, cheers, you guys. Uh, let's see if this is a you know a surprise for tonight. Wow. That's a sleeper. Um, guys, Matt, you may have to send me more of this. Um, you get so much dark fruit. You almost get like a raspberry, strawberry character. Um, so much jam. You get the chocolate. You get fudge. You get vanilla. A, uh, you get this creamy sensation. And the bourbon and whiskey is perfect. More bourbon on the nose than actually on the taste. Like the bourbon on the taste is more balanced. It doesn't like punch you in the face, but there's so many, just so many flavors. Maybe the vanilla is coming from the, the barrel itself, but yeah, this is like a, almost like a, a vanilla chocolate bomb, like a brownie and how we all probably like our stouts, probably those big stouts. We like them chewy. We like them fudge. We like them, um, just, you know, it, the, the ones that coat the mouth and this does that. I mean, I've never heard of this brewery before, um, it's not thin. I don't like my, my stouts thin, especially the big ones. Um, it has a lot of um, 
you know, flavor, just vanilla, chocolate, fudge. Um, the only thing that I might say is the bourbon on the nose is evident. The bourbon on the taste is not. But at the same time, I'm picking. I'm really nitpicking. I am pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I decided to, you know, I've had this for like three, four months, and I haven't even opened it. Um, and it is amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's not Bourbon County. It's not it's not Bourbon County. But for a brewery that I've never heard of at least, maybe some people have, but I mean, it's damn good. It almost reminds me of if you're from the Bay Area and you've went to field work, it almost reminds me of Vikings Lament a little bit. Uh, it's not as smoky, but it also it does remind me of that, but it is a bigger beer. It's 15.1 um, I'll be sipping this for the rest of the, the day. Um, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, trying to like drink this super quick. Uh, I'll take my time with it because I don't want it to smack me in the face. But I am pleasantly surprised. Matt, like I said, I need another bottle of that, of this. Um, yeah, um, just surprised. You know, it's great when you n never heard of a brewery before, never had anything from them. You don't know about reviews. There's no hype around the beer, at least from where I'm from, and you get a beer, and it's like great, and it exceeds expectations. So, yeah, if you're from PA or from that area, Free Will has a dope beer, Ralphius, 15.1%, big beer. Um, if you like stouts, if you like Russian Imperials, if you like those, you know, big dark fruit flavors, um, you know, and chocolate and chewy beers, this is for you. Uh if you guys heard that, that's my beats going off. But yeah, so great beer, <laughs> really great beer. This might make my top, you know, top of the year. This is really good. I know this 2016, but I mean, I am pleasantly surprised. Great beer, Free Will Brewing, PA, all my dudes in the East Coast. What's up? 80s Bucket Hat, Wizards. Uh, what's up? John Wall, what's up? Until next time, you guys take care. 100 Peace.